What up, everybody? Uh, this is uh, Stevie Breach coming to you. Uh, I got a video. This is going to be my congratulations video to Dolph Ziggler. Um, basically, I'm posting up there a week early, but I do believe that Dolph Ziggler will be your world heavyweight champion. Yes, a year ago, who would have thought those uh, words would even be put in the same sentence? Dolph Ziggler and world heavyweight champion. But congratulations, Dolph. I think you're finally going to reach it. This is the reasons why. I think all of the storylines of SmackDown point to the fact that Dolph will be beating Edge um, at the Royal Rumble. Who would have uh, thought going back uh, to, to the Spirit Squad, uh, when, um, I think he was Nikki, Nikki, um, uh, was, um, you know, was, was out there, you know, mostly, uh, they, they, they ran a huge program with DX, they were the help of Vince McMahon, and Shane McMahon, they were the, they were the back, uh, the, you know, they, they were the helping hands, uh, pretty much, they were the ones that fought the fight for Vince, uh, and, and, um, it filled that whole angle up, but, um, you know, when they were all thrown into the trunk and pushed off and wrote OVW on it, I think everybody thought that all five of those guys were dead. The one guy that, they, that people were saying had something special uh, was Kenny. Kenny Dykstra, he was the one that uh, on a lot of house shows was getting the main event slot. He was getting the one-on-one -on -one matches with uh, Triple H. Uh, he was the youngest guy, I believe, out of the whole group, and people said that he had the brightest future. But when you look at it now, he's, as far as I know, he's not even in wrestling. Um, but, but back to Dolph. Um, he, he, you know, he went down, he worked hard, he, uh, worked, he got himself a whole brand new look, uh, the, um, when Dolph Ziggler, uh, finally, uh, came up on Raw, and he was walking around shaking everybody's hands, nobody really knew that it was him, and, you know, most of the time when you go to a show and you bring up Dolph Ziggler and you bring up the Spirit Squad, there's always somebody who didn't even know that he was a member of that team, so, I mean, he, he worked his ass off and, you know, dyed his hair, um, you know, got in the gym, and then he got yoked up, and, uh, Dude looks good, <laughs> and uh, but uh, right now uh, I think that the major uh, storyline they're gonna be running on SmackDown is gonna be that with Teddy Long going out with the head trauma. It, it, at one at one part of the mystery is gonna be who done it, who done it. Uh, you know the core already came out and they said they didn't do it, um, but you know can they be trusted? I mean uh, Michael Tarver, who's not a part of him, uh, he was backstage. He was very noticeable. Uh, he is uh, one of the guys that shook hands, was part of the Nexus uh, with Wade Barrett. You know, did he do it to try to impress, to get into the core group? Uh, where does Tarver fit into this? Um, were, you know, would they lie about it um, uh, in order to impress Vicky? Uh, but all in all, I believe Vicky Guerrero is going to be uh, moved up. I think she's going to be getting a promotion, you can say, uh, from the assistant of SmackDown. Uh, I think she'll be bumped up to the GM again. And, uh, and Ted will be on the outs for a while. And uh, with this, I think that the uh, um, Dolph will win the title at the Rumble, I believe that. Um, uh, and then uh, she will use all of her power. You know, this will turn more into Vicky versus Edge than it is Dolph uh, versus Edge. Um, but I, I, I just see uh, Vicky trying to get back at Edge, you know, for the marriage, the divorce, the whole couple angle that they ran a couple years ago they never really had a big payoff Vicky took a leave of absence leave of absence from the WB for a while and um that we never got the payoff I mean she came out there on Raw and she helped Edge one last time where she got rid of the uh the whole GM uh, or the uh, special guest host yeah, it took away all the power uh she was the guest host then she quit uh no she was the GM and then she quit and, um, you know, we never got to see the end of this. Like, we never got to see Vicky try to get back at Edge. Uh, they were both heels, so it didn't really pay off. But now with him as the champion of SmackDown, her as the uh, GM of SmackDown, mm -hmm. I think we could really finally get the payoff of this. And, and with uh, um, Dolph winning the title at um, the Royal Rumble, we can move on to Elimination Chamber. And I believe she's going to make him uh, jump through hoops. She's going to do everything in her power to try to keep Edge out of the Elimination Chamber match out of any way, you know, to get that title back that he deserves. Like, you, you know, the number one uh, contender, you know, a lot of times is given to the guy, but, you know, sometimes they just go around it and they say, no, nah, you're not going to get the, you're not going to get it. Like when a lot of other guys lost the title, like when Jericho lost his swagger, he was not the number one contender and so on and so on. So they just sort of use it as a storyline prop and, you know, when they need to, they use it. And when they don't, they don't. Um, so congratulations, Dolph. I'm posting this about a week early of the pay-per-view, so if you fall on your face and you don't win the title, I'm going to look like an idiot. So don't make me look bad, Dolph. You're the man.